Good afternoon, ladies. My name is Miriam Hernandez, and I'm currently a fourth year student at CSUB, also known as California State University, Long Beach. Go Beach! I, I was here invited by Marcela Aguilera, whom we met back in uh, his Spanish scholarship fund um, in the summer. So it is a great honor for me to be invited by her, especially her. She's such an amazing woman. I look up to her so much, and I have so much love and respect for her. Um, I'm here to talk to you about um, my experience being an undocumented AB 540 student um, and I'm here to sort of ex uh, go uh, talk more about what I have to go through to accomplish my dream to go to college and pursue higher education. Um, but I hope that you're all here with great energy and with good vibes and I hope that you leave here feeling empowered um, to take over the world. I um, I would just like to kind of talk to you about my experience. So as I mentioned, I am an undocumented AB 540 student. So I came to the United States when I was six years old, and I always knew I wanted to go to college, but I didn't know how. Um, I had no one to look up to. No one in Mexico went to college. They didn't even go to like elementary or middle school. And if they did, they dropped out because we couldn't afford it. Uh, so that was one of the main reasons why my family decided to come to the United States. And one of the biggest goals for my mom was for her daughter to go to college and my dad too. My dad has always said that it's really important for for his daughter to go to college. Um, since we all know in our, in our community, not a lot of young Latinas go to college and end up being successful. Um, um, so, like I mentioned, I didn't know ab about my status. I didn't know that I was undocumented until uh, I found out that uh, my brother was going to get adopted. And um, and I was scared, terrified. I was like, oh my God, like what's happening? Um, so then I realized that the reason why he was getting adopted is so that he can get residency so that he can apply to college. And so that's when I, I felt alarmed because I thought, oh my, am I, is it going to be hard? Like, I, I thought that this was the land of opportunity and that I wasn't going to have a problem attending college. Um, so he, he went off with his adopted dad, which um, he's like my father to me too. He's a wonderful person and some, a lot of my success I owe it to, um, to him. And so I had... I grew up in South Los Angeles, which um, I'm not sure if you ladies know the background of South Los Angeles, which is borderline of Watts and Compton. Um, so I grew up with a lot of violence gangs and um, my destiny, well, I mean, my destiny was to get pregnant at a very young age and not go to college. Um, so my parents decided that I should go to a magnet school. So I went to math, science, and technology school in Roosevelt High School in East Boyle Heights, and I got my life together. Um, I started getting good grades. I started getting involved with uh, cross-country, track and field, uh, leadership, and I started doing things that I wanted to do. <clears throat> and I started, I, my freshman year wasn't too well, but I started, ended up getting straight A's and and getting really high grades and getting all these awards and recognitions was I thought it was amazing because I didn't know it was possible um so then my older brother uh my freshman year he was he, as I mentioned he was still undocumented um um and he he went off to Harvard University at a with a full rights scholarship so then I thought hey you know college is possible for me and so I tried my best to get the great best grades possible and and try to go to a really good university. Uh, my senior year came around and um, I started getting all these acceptance letters and all these and, uh, and started to get so happy about going to college. Uh, but my biggest problem was how am I going to afford this? Um, now it's a little different because we didn't have legislations like AB 130 and AB 131, which um, allows, uh, the AB 131 allows students to apply to the California Dream Act, which is allows uh, students to receive Cal grants and um, state university grants. 
Um, and then the AB 130 allows student, undocumented students or AB 540 students to apply to uh, private scholarships and, and different scholarships. But back in when I was in high school, that wasn't available to me. So I was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. And uh, one of the things that I did was I spoke out about my situation and I asked for help. I was, I, telling people that I was undocumented would have jeopardized my life. In that regard, I, if I would have told someone, they could have called Immigration Customs Enforcement to me and then deport me. Um, so it was a very scary time because it was not only myself, but my family. And so I was very scared to talk to people about that. And I feared that if I were to be open about my situation, I wouldn't succeed. And like, it, it was just a very difficult stage in my life. But because I spoke out, I was able to receive um, scholarships that paid for my tuition to go to Cal State Long Beach. And, um, and I had a couple scholarships that also helped me pay um, for my dorm. And I never thought that I would be able to dorm even I didn't even think I was going to go to college because of the financial issues. Um, luckily, in my situation, I got accepted to all these wonderful schools, and I wanted to go to all these schools, and I wanted to go to UC Irvine. Um, but I don't regret my decision at all. And I always tell uh, my students, because I work at a boys and girls club, and I help them apply to college. I always tell these students, because they always want to go to top-notch schools like UUSD, UCLA, because there's the only ones around here that are popular because of the athletics department. But do know that there's so many other opp opp opportunities for you, different colleges out there that can open your doors to different things. Like, I didn't realize how amazing Cal State Long Beach would be for me. I absolutely love the campus. I love the environment. I, I'm currently living in Cal State Long Beach and, um, well, near the university. And I didn't think I would get that opportunity to do so. And by that, I... I looked and I searched scholarships and I tried my best to uh, advocate for myself, um, especially at my situation, because I knew that money was going to be a problem. But now that I forward four years now, I don't money is not an issue. It does not matter where you come from, who you, how you look, like doesn't matter. You have an opportunity to receive money to go to college. Now a lot of AB 540 students and undocumented students um, can apply to different different resources because we have we have the California Dream Act. We have uh, we have deferred action for childhood arrivals, also known as DACA, that allows you to work and and uh, and allows you to get a driver's license. We have now I like next semester I'm. I'm still undocumented, but I will have the opportunity to go to Mexico and study abroad there and for two weeks. But I wouldn't have been able to do that if it wasn't for like uh, DACA, which is Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. So there's so many opportunities out there. It doesn't matter if you have support of your parents, if you don't have support of your parents. If you want something, you'll get it. And this, I can't tell you... I can sell you college and my older brother who I, we had a conversation with he told me when you talk to students don't tell them don't sell them college sell them a lifestyle and this is the lifestyle I want to sell to you ladies the lifestyle of success the lifestyle that you can possibly earn plenty of money to help your parents because in our Latino community, they're the most hardworking people we know. Um, you have the opportunity to buy yourself a car. You have the opportunity to be an independent Latina. That you can uh, that you don't have to depend on a man um, to succeed or to uh, to be financially stable. You could be successful on your own because at the end of the day, um, life is hard. Life's difficult, um, but Something that would, no one will take you away is your degree. Your degree, you will earn. Like, that is yours. And no one can ever take that away from you. And do it for yourself.
not for anybody else. Do it for yourself. Um, but even if you still don't have that, if you still need that motivation, um, do it for your parents. I, I always tell my, my mom and dad that I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing it for them as a thank you um, for bringing me to this country and allowing me to grow as academic, as an independent lady that I can go off and do, to take over the world, you know, um, but uh, not realistically speaking, but maybe in the future. <laughs> um, so like I said, there's different, there's different opportunities to pay to college. Don't, don't make that um, an excuse not to go to college. Um, because I, I hear a lot of students say, oh, well, I don't have the money to go to college. So like, yeah, there is. There is a possibility for you to go to college. And if you tell my older brother then when he was your age, he wouldn't have thought he would have gone to college with a full ride scholarship. Um, so I'll leave you all ladies with this. Um, as always, I'm always available to talk to um, to ladies if you guys need any help, especially if you're an AB540 undocumented student who doesn't really know what if you are or you don't. I'm always here as a resource. Um, I'll leave my name and email right here. Right here. I'll leave it. Yeah, so I'll leave my information down below. Um, also, you can contact Marcella if you want to uh, ask any more questions and again my apologies for not being personally there I hate this virtual world I'd rather be personally there with you um, but like again I'm here as a resource and I wish you the best of best of luck in your future endeavors and I know that you all will be successful no matter what career choice you will like or what college you end up going to you will be successful and um, if you feel like giving up let me tell you it's if college was easy everybody would go right but it isn't easy and again thank you Marcela for inviting me I appreciate it um I hope this isn't too long but um um thank you and have a wonderful wonderful conference and have a wonderful day